Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to my card making projects. And in this episode, we're going to be using lots and lots of items from the die cuts with a view Hello Darling cardstock stack. And I'm really excited about this because this is such a beautiful stack. Everything that I use, I shall put at the bottom in the description box. Please feel free to comment. Um, if you like the demonstration, please click like. If you want to subscribe, please feel free. So you can always contact me on Facebook at Anne Marie V. So I'm going to start off with an 8x8 card um, blank base in white. And what I've done is I've taken one of the papers from the Hello Darling stack and this is the shaped I'm trying to say hexagon but it isn't a hexagon because it's got six sides so it's that shape and it's got gold foiling on and I've cut it already to fit on our card base and what I've done is added tape and I'm just quickly going to add this as our first layer now the beauty of the stack is that not only is there lots of papers in the stack, and when I say papers I do mean cardstock, not only is there lots and lots of cardstock in the stack, there are some gorgeous embellishments as well. And I've taken a selection of them to use in the card we're going to make. So first off, I've cut and layered some cardstock in a pale colour that I'm just going to add at one side of our first layer. Next what I've done is I've cut out one of the, I won't say sentiment postcards because I've stamped the sentiment in it, but it's like um, a project size blank section for you to be able to add your journal in, for you to add your rubber stamps. I've stamped mine and it says on this special occasion it's the perfect time to say health and happiness to you both today and every day which I think is really nice and ideal to send for not only a birthday but an anniversary as well. So I've already put 3D foam on the back so I'll peel this off and add this to our coloured layer that I've taken from a plain die cut with a view stack and they, all the colours marry up so perfectly and that sits nicely on there. Now the one thing that I have done um, is to cut out from the stack on the actual this, a sheet where I would say there are lots of decoupage items. There's a set of like banner flags. So I've cut it out and I've literally cut each section but kept them attached to each other. And then as I've gone through it, I've curled one one way, one the opposite way, one upwards, one down. And then on the back, on the ones that curled down, I've added 3D foam and on the ones that add the opposite way I've added the um, foam at the end to keep the shape and I'm literally just going to work out where this needs to sit because I want it to sit just underneath the top layer that's got our sentiment on because I just want it to hide the edge of the flags and then it just looks a little bit neater as it's sat on our card. So just peel off the backing of the foam pads and again I'll just work out where that's going to go best. So I think it's going to roughly be about there. So I'll just press that down and if it's not straight I'm sorry I'm looking through the camera at a different angle as you would be because you'd be looking 
underneath and at the side and at the top. So and then on the back of my sentiment that we've just matted and layered, I've already got the double sided tape that I shall peel off and we can add over the top of the little flags that we've just added. So if I put that roughly there, oops, got one of the foam pad backs and that sits nicely on there. So next what I've done is I've taken a few of the elements that are on the sheet with the banners, the flags that, that were on and there's lots of little decoupage items and I've added 3D foam to them. Now the first one is the roses. Now don't worry about this edge because if you don't like it you can cover it up and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to add lots of other items to be able to cover that edge. This is one of the really cute little typewriters. So I'm just going to place that at one side. And then we've got some little letter um, envelopes, letters in. And again, I've slightly curled these just to give them a little bit of shape. And I'm just going to place that at the other side. And then on the same sheet, there's some roses and they're in different sizes. So I've got three of the sizes, one of the large ones, one of the small ones, and one of the really teeny weeny ones. Now they're ideal for cutting out. If you're not happy with your cutting out when you've cut them out and you've got any white bits, just take your ink pad around the edge and that will help. Now the last thing I've got for the flowers is I've made three roses in the coordinating cardstock that goes with the rest of our card. So I've got two pink and one red and I'm just adding these to finish it off at the bottom. And I'll pop one there with the typewriter. And the very last thing I've got is a bow. I've used a die cut to make the bow and I'll put a link at the bottom if I can. So we'll just add that to the top of our card like that. And that is our card finished. And I think that is so pretty. I do hope you've enjoyed watching this project for this gorgeous Hello Darling stack from Die Cuts With A View. If you've enjoyed it, please give me the thumbs up. And hopefully I'll see you again next time for even more exciting projects. So our die cuts with a view project measures on our comparison chart just to show you an idea it's the biggest of the sizes and it's the 8 by 8 and I hope that helps with sizing for any of your card projects. Thank you.